Even as Donald Trump and his newly hand-picked Attorney General William Barr continue to try to cover up what's really in the Robert Mueller report, we don't know what is or is not in the report when it comes to Trump's suspicious financial relationship with Deutsche Bank. Now it turns out we won't have to wait until the Mueller report finally surfaces to get answers on that particular topic. House Financial Services Committee Chairwoman Maxine Waters publicly hinted in recent weeks that Deutsche Bank has begun cooperating with her demands for Donald Trump's banking records. Today, Waters told reporters that the bank has in fact begun giving her Trump's records. It's not difficult to figure out why Deutsche Bank has begun cooperating, Waters has subpoena power thanks to the new Democratic House majority and she can force their hand anyway. This is a major development, based just on what's already widely publicly known. Deutsche Bank spent several years loaning large amounts of money to Donald Trump, even though he'd become such a bad credit risk that virtually no other bank was willing to touch him. Further, even as Trump was failing to repay Deutsche Bank for these loans, Deutsche Bank was continuing to loan him more money. During this same time frame, Deutsche Bank was busted by the feds for having laundered billions of dollars of money between its Moscow and New York City branches. If Deutsche Bank wasn't using these loans as cover for laundering Russian money to Donald Trump in New York City, then this is all one phenomenal coincidence. Now that Maxine Waters has her hands on Trump's Deutsche Bank records, she's going to be able to give us definitive answers one way or the other in upcoming congressional hearings. Stay tuned.